this video literally take two. I recorded the whole video and then got inside and tried to edit it and realized that my microphone was not cooperating. So it was like silent. And I was like, well, I could have done like, you know, one of those anime dub ninja fighting videos where I'm just like talking over it and it doesn't match to my lips. But I was like, I'm not going to do that to y'all. I am shooting for absolute perfection here. You deserve nothing less. <laughs> So, how's that for an introduction? Hey guys, this is Heather from Jumping Spiders USA. So, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA. Make sure to give this video a like, a comment. Tell us how you're doing. Tell, your how, tell us how your spiders are doing. Share, subscribe, click the little bell so you get future notifications of all upcoming, wonderful, amazing, fabulous content. So, today's video. So it is a more accessible layman's version of um, Dr. Wayne Madison's Collecting Jumping Spiders video. So I have found that uh, pretty helpful. So we're going to um, make the layman's video for that. Okay, so down in the description, I am going to... Um, list everything that you'll need for this. I've got these little five milliliter um, vials and you can use these for collecting. And so I'm going to stick these. I'm right hand dominant. So they're going to go in my right hand, uh, my right pocket when they're empty. And then if I catch a spider, I'm just going to put it over into my left pocket, just like that. We've got the beating stick. You may, you want to make sure that you have like a nice hard stick. So when you whack it up against something, that it's not gonna break on you. I got some uh, neon colored duct tape from Walmart. And this serves the purpose that, you know, if you whack and you catch a spider and then you, you know, just need to be able to drop the stick really fast and pick up your vial, you know, catch your spider. And then when you go to look for your um, stick again later, you'll easily be able to find it because it won't look like all the other sticks out there. In his video, his uh, looks, oh, there's a cat in the bushes. His looks um, very uh, professional and like he knows what the fuck he's doing. Well, I can't say that I am or that I do. So with that said, this is not collapsible like his is in the video. You know, you can't just collapse it and stick it in your backpack. Um, and it's literally just a white pillowcase. So it's a white pillowcase, two dowel rods. Uh, I don't know the, the uh, diameter of them. They're pretty small. Like they're about the smallest um, ones that Home Depot had and some twine. And so how I did this, I'll get up close here and show you, is I cut um, four holes in the pillowcase, like, you know, an X. Well, just, you know, made a box with them and then stuck the dowel rods in there. Um, on this side, you just stick it down on the closed end side, you just stick it down in there. On the open end side of the pillowcase, I just removed some um, stitches in the lining and stuck it up in through there so it's inside the lining right there so it stays. And then, you know, put the uh, twine there to keep it together and a good place to hold. So I'll demonstrate what you will do. So this is the catcher and this is the whacker. So what you're gonna do is go to a tree or a bush, put your catcher down under that, and then you're gonna give it a nice hard whack. And you gotta make sure, like in the video he says, you know, make sure the first time you give it a nice hard whack because you know if you just give it a little whack, um, then you know, if it doesn't knock your spider off, they can, you know, then hold on for dear life. And even if you whack it really hard after that, they're probably not gonna um, fall off. So let's Turn it around here and I'll demonstrate. Okay, so here is one of my bushes here. I'm gonna take my whacking stick and I'm gonna take my catcher and put it down under here and then I'm just gonna give it a really good whack. And then you see what comes off. And if you had to, you know, you drop your stick really fast, get your vial, pop the top and then, you know, scoop or pr press it down on your spider like that stick it over in your other pocket 
and then your stick is colored so now you can find it and i didn't find anything but oh look a little leaf hopper yes i did <laughs> i don't know if you can see that on the pink right there little leaf hopper but um that is how it's done and this is how i made it more accessible to a lay person like me not nothing fancy um, so I hope to see you guys over on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash jumping spiders USA and happy hunting and good luck. Okay. So other places that you can find jumpers besides just trees and bushes. So sometimes you can find them on the ground in nice, uh, sunny places, sometimes in little tufts of grass on sidewalks. I found them on my vehicles on sunny days. They love light, they love warmth. So a lot of times you can find them literally like just out sunning themselves, like on the side of buildings, like brick buildings. Um, sometimes I find them on the railing of my front porch stoop. I found them um, at the university where I was going. Uh, a good place was under a tree, like on this uh, railing. I used to find them a lot there. People find them outside around their trash bins. Look around the lid of your trash bin. It's up under the lip. Sometimes up um, around the eaves of porches and patios, things like that. Um, on fences, nice sunny days, you can just find them a lot of times. Sometimes, depending on the species, you might even find it on tree bark, or if you peel a little piece back, you might find some um, hiding under tree bark as well. Like just, just all over the place, you can find them depending where you are and depending what species they are.